Hey everybody, welcome to an add-on chest routine for upright bow flexes. I'm talking the Exceed, the Extreme, and the PR3000. So what's an add-on workout? Well, basically it's intended to be stapled on to another workout that you're doing. So maybe you did some cardio today or another workout on the bow flex and you have a little bit of energy left. Well, this is to help you focus and get the most out of that, that little bit of energy you have left with 10 sets for our chest today. So instead of using a timer, we're gonna be counting our reps today, which we'll get into that and how that's gonna work in just a moment, but we will be using a timer just to count down our rest period. So uh, last thing is you're gonna to wanna to have your cables or your pulleys in this uh, middle section here, and I have it in the, the widest setting. So let's go ahead and rack up our weights and we're gonna get right to it. So I've racked up all the resistance my Bowflex has to offer. I believe that's 220 pounds. And I want you to rack up a resistance that's going to be difficult for you, but not impossible. And what I mean by that is we're doing sets of eight reps. And in the first set, I want you to be able to complete all eight reps, but not have a lot left in the tank. And as we go through this workout today, things are going to get progressively more difficult. And you might not be able to finish every set we do because you've racked up a lot of weight and that's okay. That is the process of getting stronger and that's why we're working out here today. So our first set, again, uh, I've got my pulleys in the widest position and we're gonna use that for our chest press. So for chest press, you're just gonna grab both handles and then you are gonna press them out in front of you. And you can either have them above your knees or you can bring them together and have kind of your thumbs touch. So everybody on, here we go. One, two, and I'm gonna count all of my reps here. Just follow along with me. There's four, five, six, seven, and eight. So again, we're doing eight reps. Our work periods are not tied to that timer. That's roughly how long it takes me to do eight reps is about 25 seconds. Uh, kind of keeps me, you know, going nice and slow with my reps and not getting sloppy. And so we're gonna do chest press here three times in a row. And we got a 45 second rest between each set. So we got 20 seconds here. Stay loose. And, oh, and adjust your weight setting if you need to after that first set. You know, you're trying to find something that's gonna be real tough for you. And we're gonna start here in five more seconds. All right, press. There's one, two, three. You should exhale as you're pressing out. There's five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. So for our final set, what I want you to do is if you have more than eight sets or eight reps left in you, I want you to give me as many reps as you've got. Go until failure. So if that means going up to 12 or 13, that's where I want you to go. Keep pressing, even if I've stopped. So me personally, I would like to have a little bit more resistance added to my Bowflex. And in fact, I have bought the upgrade kit here and I will be adding more power rods to this machine at some point for workouts and just like this. All right, here we go. Chest press to failure. Till failure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. All right. So, like I said, I, I'm going to be adding a little bit more resistance to my machine so I fail a bit sooner. I'm also working on trying to have a, a um, an elastic band resistance add-on to this. Haven't quite gotten that far yet. 
So we've done our chest press and now we're gonna move into some chest flies. So for this, you're gonna have exact same position, except you're gonna have your arms straight out and then you're gonna bring them together in front of you. So your arms kind of are, here we go, one, two. So I like to think of kind of my chest as the center of a circle and my arms are tracing the outline of it. So that's four for me. Five, six, seven, and eight. So we're gonna do two sets of chest fly here, and then we're gonna come back to our chest fly at the end of this routine. So with chest fly though, it's up to you if you wanna have the two handles kinda of hit in front of you, or if you wanna stop just before that, that's fine. You should really be kinda of feeling it in like your, your outer part of your chest here, um, kind of close to your shoulders and biceps, but just uh, the, the outer part of your chest with this fly. All right, six more seconds and we got eight flies in us. All right, let's go team. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, And eight, here we go. All right, we are halfway done with our add-on routine here. And next we're gonna do some incline press. So incline press is gonna be a lot like our chest press. With chest press though, we were just going straight out in front of us, kind of keeping the handles parallel to the ground. With uh, incline press, we wanna be pressing up. We don't wanna be doing a shoulder press where we're going straight up. We also don't wanna go straight out. So incline press is kind of in the middle here. So with incline press, I'm kind of, I don't know if that's a 45 degree angle or not. It feels like it to me and that'll be my incline press. And we're gonna be doing eight of these here when the clock hits zero. All right, here's one, two, three, four, five, exhale as you're Pressing out, six, seven, and eight. There we go. So we got two more sets of incline press here. Take it easy. I'm gonna grab a drink of water here. So this is, I'm recording this right after a good cardio workout. You can kind of maybe see all this sweat. I went for a nice run in the Florida heat. That's where I live, down in Tampa, Florida. And it is a hot one out here today, but that's not stopping me. All right, so let's get ready for 10 more incline press, excuse me, eight more incline presses. Here you go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There you go. Going into our last set of incline press here. And if you are struggling, and unable to complete all eight reps, that is okay. That is what we wanna see. That means you are really building some muscle here. When you, when you fail when doing strength training, as long as it's not because you're tired, your cardio, cardiovascular system, if you, if you fail because your muscles can't push anymore, your body's gonna repair itself and it's gonna repair yourself stronger. So you keep, you know, getting stronger. And that's the whole point of this, so. Let's get into this last set. In this set, give me all you got. If that's 10 reps, that's what I want. If that's four reps, that's okay too. Here we go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. All right. So we're going to wrap things up with two more sets of chest fly. As you saw, I, I did 14 there. I need a bit more resistance on my machine. If you need more, uh, you know, please consider purchasing your upgrade through the link in the description. I get a small referral fee for those. Now let's get into some chest fly. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Stay in control to get nice and smooth. Six, seven, and eight. There we go. All right, on to our final set. And what you're doing as many reps as you can do with this chest fly here. And that'll be wrapping up our chest add on for today. So again, you're going to take it nice and smooth. Those hands can tap in front of you if you want. If not, that's all right too. Here we go. Here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me all you got. Eight, nine, and that's it. Great work, everybody. If you got another add-on routine in you, check out the video linked up here. And uh, if you're done, don't forget to rack up your bow flex. Remove those power rods from resistance. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Be good to yourself and be good to others.